to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Joe Biden is at it again. He's the gift that keeps on giving. I don't understand how anybody at this particular point cannot see the sheer racism of Joe Biden. But we still got a bunch of porch monkeys running around, still trying to support Joe Biden, calling Donald Trump the racist. Now, his latest one, they're trying to spin this, but it's pretty clear. I'll let you hear the clip for yourself. Because there ain't no getting around this right here, what he actually said. Matter of fact, I'm going to play the clip, and then we're going to comment on what he just said. You see record lows in unemployment, particularly, and I've focused on this my whole career, particularly for African Americans and Hispanic workers and veterans. You know, the workers without high school diplomas, the lowest unemployment rate in 70 years for women. I really heard Joe Biden, and I will repeat. Now, you know what's funny about this? This is the part you may have missed on the particular clip. He says, we've seen record lows in unemployment, particularly, he said, I focus my, on this my whole career. Stop right there. Before we get to the racist comment, how long he been in office? Almost 50 years. So he's been focusing 50 years on ending things, and he ain't done a damn thing. Now, this, this unemployment that he's talking about, they told the damn people to stay at home for COVID, and then he told them to go back to work. You have not done a damn thing to help unemployment. Stop the cap. Then this is the part that gets me. They're trying to spin this. Did you hear the clip? We'll play it again if you didn't hear it. see record lows in unemployment, particularly, and I've focused on this my whole career, particularly for... African-Americans and Hispanic workers and veterans. You know, the workers without high school diplomas, the lowest unemployment rate in 70 years for women now. He says particularly for African-Americans, Hispanic workers, veterans, you know, the workers without a high school diploma. In other words, the ignorant, not the ignorant, the ignorant. You fools ain't got a high school diploma. He says all because... Big Daddy Joe is coming through the rescue. This is the fella who was hanging out with the segregationists. This is the fella who was uh, hanging out with Robert Byrd. This is the fella who thought it was a good idea to try to lynch Clarence Thomas. He was literally trying his best to bring Clarence Thomas down. And these porch monkeys are still support. You're a porch monkey if you support Joe Biden. If you're black, you support Joe Biden. I don't care if it's your man or your daddy. You're a porch monkey. If you're black, for sure. If you're white, you're just a racist. That's what. That's the real racist. But I got another clip of Joe Biden because he wasn't finished. And you do remember a while back he says, Joe Biden says that the poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as the white kids. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids. Black kids. Asian kids. I really mean, but think how we think about it. We think, no, we're going to dumb it down. They can do anything anybody else can do. Give it a shot. Is there any other way to interpret that? Please do tell. The poor kids are just as talented as the white kids. So all the other kids can be just as smart as the white kids. How much more information do you need? Now, I know people like uh, Mr. Dedango, Mr. Stephen from Django who happens to be James Cl Clyborne, this is, if you look up in the dictionary of how a porch monkey is supposed to act, it'd be a picture of uh, Mr. James Clyborne down in South Carolina. That is a field, you ain't even, he's a good field hand. This boy has been defending Joe Biden for years. And by the way, I ain't giving him credit for Joe Biden winning South Carolina because Joe Biden didn't win South Carolina in the first damn play. So set up two. Don't buy it one minute. But he's getting credit for it because he thinks he has pool. Freaking porch monkey. But uh, what got me is that you may have forgot the other one when he was talking about uh, corn pop. You remember that? But that's not the part we want to concentrate on. Remember when he was talking about the little black kids coming up and rubbing the hair down in his legs so it can pop back up? And what he was really saying, let me interpret that for you. What he was saying is that these little niggas, Get a chance to come in and rub the hair on my leg, and they should be amused by that. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that 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 that, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight, and then watch the hair 
Come, come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. And I, Because I'm such a god that they should be privileged. Like, look at the little black chilling. Look at these little black chilling just having so much fun rubbing hair down on my leg. Now, what grown man will feel comfortable telling that damn story? Telling you that the little kids. Now, you notice in the clip that he don't just say that they rub the hair down on my legs. For some reason, unbeknownst to the rest of us, he throws cockroaches in there. I don't know where that came from. He hit me from left field with that one because he was talking about the little kids coming up and he would he would he had real hairy legs. He wants you to know that just in case you was interested, women. He wants to rub the hair down on his leg and it came back up. It rolled back up. And then he says he's familiar with cockroaches. Now, he couldn't be talking about like a roach, a, 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 a piece of weed, right? Because he throws in cockroaches while saying the black kids is rubbing the hair on his leg. What could he possibly mean by that? You got to be a special kind of stupid if you are a person of color and you still support uh, 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 Joe Biden. And you have to be nothing but a racist if you white and you still trying to defend Joe Biden. Black kids rub the hair on his leg because they should be amused because they ain't got nothing better to do at home anyway and play with their cockroaches. That's what he's, I technically, I guess that's what he's saying. Then he says that you, you minorities, you can be just as talented as the white kids. And then he says that all the Americans, the African Americans, the Hispanic, he even threw veterans in there and said that, you know, the workers without a high school diploma. They said most people over 25 years of age actually have a high school diploma. Most of the people in all races, but not according to Joe Biden, because Joe Biden is a racist. I don't see how anybody can try to spin what he says. African Americans, Hispanics, and veterans, they 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 can also have a high school diploma. But most people are not focusing on what he's saying. He says all his career he's been focusing on trying to get these people employed. For fifty years he's been working on this. Now if somebody had been working on your garage or rebuilding you a new room for fifty years and it looks like trash, which you say this is he's doing a fantastic job. We need to rehire him. No, nobody would say that unless you're stupid. This is like you having like a jungle somewhere and it's uncultivated land. And somebody says, I've been working on this for 50 years, building the ideal property for myself. You say, it looks like a damn jungle over there. Yeah, I've been working on it for 50 years, though. Joe Biden and these dumb, stupid liberals have been working for over 50 years, destroying you. And it seems like to me, most people are not waking up just how racist and how many times their rules and their laws do not work. Joe Biden is not trying to fix anything any damn way. All he does is race bait. And then they have these people like the Black Caucus, a bunch of porch monkeys. They have BET, which is a trash uh, network now. BET and the rest of these constantly bragging on Joe Biden. I don't know how any person who's not a racist could vote for Joe Biden. I don't care what color you are, white, black, orange, purple. How can any person listen to Joe Biden over the years and think he's not a racist? And don't forget when he was reading that transcript that time, when he was talking about Bernie Sanders, whatever, he was supposed to be quoting, I guess, Bernie Sanders. He kept saying, nigga, 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 nigga. He just kept saying it. And let's also not forget that Joe Biden was the one hanging out with segregationists. And he says segregation is good for these African-Americans. I think they were calling them uh, Negroes back then. I'm not for sure what he said. But he said that it was good for you. He's doing you a favor by keeping you separated. Because he don't really want you around his children anyway. Because you may rob him and stuff. You may want to pick a fight with his kids, you know. Uh, uh, rob his wife. You remember that clip right there? So this is the, 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 the way Joe Biden has talked for years. What I'm shocked is, is that anybody else right now still can listen to this kind of stuff. You remember what he said about Barack Obama? He's the first articulate African-American who's smart, clean cut. You bunch of filthy niggas is what he's actually saying in so many words. You all, the rest of you are filthy. You don't bathe. You're not clean cut. And we're, we're intimidated by you because a bunch of you number a bunch of animals anyway. This is how I interpret what Joe Biden is saying. But most people won't say this because they got to be politically correct. How can you listen to Joe Biden at this particular point and not see this man as a flaming racist? And when he talks now, he's just repeating what he's always repeated. Even though his mind is gone, 
Some reason when people lose their mind, they get older, they have Alzheimer's, they still repeat truth stuff that they remember. This is Joe Biden being Joe Biden, and it ain't no way to spin it. You're stupid, he says. Can't do math, and he needs to grade on the curve because you people don't love your children like he loves his children. This is how almost all white liberals think anyway. Black liberals, white liberals, Latino liberals, if you want to see real racism, I'm not saying there's no racism on the right, but all the real racism, I mean, the hardcore racism, most of the time I've experienced it with these leftists who's always trying to pretend either like they're woke, if they're black, it's always black power, but they're racist. If they're white, they always say like, oh my God, I feel so sorry for you. I feel so sorry for you. What can I help you with? I know you don't know who your father is. I know who my damn father is. Damn it, I look just like him. Hell is you talking about? But this is the way they try to um, patronize you. Whenever somebody got to keep talking about this, it just shows who they are. Joe Biden is a racist. If you got a family member who don't believe he's a racist, just listen to the clips, damn it. 